So, how do we switch it? Well, we push this. Or maybe we fucking don't. Hey everybody, just me again, Wayne. And since our previous video was about bodybuilding, this one's about music. Specifically, how to find your sound, how to make your sound, on the Fender Mustang GTX 100 Digital Modeling Amplifier. Okay, everybody, here's the subject of our discussion today. Now, this won't be a review of the amplifier as such. You can find a bunch of those online. And I already kind of, sort of, a little bit reviewed it, sort of, when I pitted it against the Blackstar Silverline Deluxe here a few videos back as I was trying to decide which of these amplifiers to keep. And uh, oh, I wish I could keep them both because, boy, I like the sound of the Black Star Silverline Deluxe a lot. But the Mustang edged it out because the Mustang can sound just as good as the Silverline Deluxe. In fact, it can sound almost just like it. And it can also sound a whole bunch of other ways. And it sounds has just as much resonance and depth to it. But finding that, right, making it sound like the Black Star Silverline Deluxe, or making it sound like uh, any other particular thing that you have in mind is a bit of a trick because this thing comes with nearly 200 presets, dozens of amp models, and dozens of effects. And that's what we're going to talk about here, finding your sound. In addition, of course, to just having access to the amplifier itself, you're going to want to use your Fender Tone app. You can download that, and I believe that they have it for desktop, PC, I'm using the version that comes for Android. I'm using my phone, yes, with Bluetooth to help me make sense of the controls and find my sound. So as this video goes along, most of it is going to be focused on the amplifier control panel itself. But at times, we're going to jump to some screenshots of the Fender Tone app from my phone. And usually I will have a bunch of screenshots in a row. I'll have them all up on the screen at the same time. And uh, these are these will be very helpful, as you'll see. So after we turn the thing on and our LED screen gives us the Mighty Fender logo and then the Mustang GTX logo, somewhat less mighty, but still fine, the first thing it goes to, assuming that you haven't done anything else to it and you haven't changed the the channel, as it were, it defaults to channel number one, preset number one, twin reverb clean. Ah, uh, clean is good. Nothing worse than an unhygienic amplifier, and they get so pissed off if you point it out to them. Oh my god. Now off to that way, we have all our standard controls, gain, volume, treble, mids, bass, reverb, master. This is the stuff here by which we are going to control what sounds we use and what sounds we make. There are 10 blank slots. There are slots uh, 190 through 200, or maybe it's 191 through 200, I don't know, that you can put your own personalized sound into. Before that, we have 189 presets. And after that 189, we have, um, well, uh, 11, actually empty slots that we can fill in with whatever we want. Okay, but what let's do, just for the sake of illustration, is let's find a sound that we're not going to use and let's turn that into a sound that we will use. Now for me that's a pretty easy choice. I'm going to go to number three, Country Twang. Country Twang is a sound that I will probably never, ever use. So, let's do something different with it. Let's turn this into something that we like. We've got our title here. Okay, this is the uh, pre-effect. Here's the amplifier itself. Here's the post-effect. All right, now, these buttons here, these three, these control which of these levels we're going to be looking at, whether it's, you know, which preset it is, or this line of stuff, the, the pre-effects, the amp, and the post-effects, 
And down here we have representations of the controls for whatever thing is central in our central row. That's much more simple than it sounds. Country twang. Well, let's say the first thing we want to do is swap out our amplifier itself. I'm going to push our second button here, and son of a gun, look at that. The 65 Deluxe is the amplifier that is there. So, how do we switch it? Well, we go back to this here knob and just give it a push. And there is the amplifier that the preset is using, and we have all the other amplifiers as well. Uh, here is where your Fender Tone app really comes in handy. Because while we can scroll through the list of all the available amplifiers here, the Fender Tone app actually gives us a visual representation of what each amplifier is supposed to uh, look like or be like. And of course, Fender can use their labels for their amps, the 65 Twin Reverb and so forth, but for the other amplifiers that this thing models, they have to make up names. And I don't know what most of these names refer to, okay? Like the Excelsior. I don't know what that is. Maybe that is a type of amp itself that Fender makes. I just couldn't tell you. But as we scroll through here, we're going to find that there are four or five amplifiers that are best really for a hard rock or a heavy metal sound. Well really there are eight amplifier models in here that would any of which would work pretty well for a hard rock or a metal tone. The American 90s, the Bass Breaker 15 High, the British 80s which clearly is supposed to represent a Marshall of some sort, the Excelsior, I love that name, Metal 2000, which is supposed to be an EVH 5150 type amplifier. The Studio Tube Preamp, creative name there. Supersonic, and the Uber. Any of these would work pretty darn well for a hard rock or a metal tone. So having looked at all those, let's decide that what we want to use is our bass breaker 15 high. So we scroll to that using this, push this again, and now we are back to the main menu. Look at our controls. And to get down here and control the controls, we push this button. My goodness. And there's our gain, volume, treble, mid, bass, and uh, so forth. Okay, now just to scroll between these, right, we use our knob again. And take us over and over and over and over still. And some of these things, I don't even know what they mean. The gate position, power supply sag, no idea. Tube bias, probably something to do with the emulation of tubes. That's just a guess. And uh, finally, our master volume there. Now, if you have more experience than I do, oh, cabinet, that's actually a really cool thing too that we can use um, to change our sound. And it changes the sound dramatically. Now, if you have more experience than I do in uh, classic uh, amplifiers, and if you've played through a greater variety of them than I have, then you probably will know what, uh, you know, the noise gate and the gate position and the power supply sag and all that kind of thing actually is. I don't. So I'm just gonna leave all those things pretty much the way they are. Gain is cranked all the way up for our BB-15 high. Probably we don't need it that high, so we push our knob. Aha! And now we can control the gain. Let's dial that back just a little bit to about the four o'clock position, okay? Push this again, and we are back to the controls. Now, the kind of sound I want to go for here is that heavy, scooped sound. A lot of bass, some treble, and the, the middle scooped out. I know a lot of people don't really dig that sound, but it's it's my favorite, at least for playing in the dining room. So, um, we've dialed back the gain just a little bit. Volume. I like the initial volume. I think it might as well be all the way up from the get-go. That's just how I do it. Trouble. Okay. It's about noon. That's probably pretty good. Or a little bit more even. Let's say it's one o'clock. The middle. Okay, I'm going to take the middle and largely make it go away. 
And uh, yeah, I know you're thinking to yourself, oh, he doesn't know what that does to the sound. Uh, yeah, I do. And if I were playing uh, with a band, clearly I'd put some middle back into it. But I'm not. I'm just strumming by myself. Bass. Okay. Push that. We're going to turn our bass up uh, to about 3 o'clock. We probably don't want to go higher than that. But, you know, we'll see. So, anything else that we want to mess with here? Let's just take a look at uh, the cabinets. Okay. There are a bunch of them. The 4x12 sole is not bad. Not bad at all. But I think the cabinet that I'm going to go with is the Excelsior. I'm going to push that. Fabulous. We're using Excelsior cabinet. Okay. Now, I don't know what the gate does. Or this is the power, power supply or what have you. I'm going to go over here and turn the master down. Just because I don't want the thing to blow the windows out of my house as soon as I play anything. Because remember, I have the, uh, the first volume turned all the way up. Okay, so we've chosen our amplifier, the bass breaker 15 high. We have gone through and adjusted our tone controls, chosen the cabinet that we like. Let's go back to our middle column here. And let's go to our pre-effects. What is in there now? A simple compressor. Well, we can bypass it, which means, I guess, turn it off temporarily. We could just delete it. We could add another effect to it. If there were more than one effect there, we could move them around. We could change the signal chain. But I think what we'll do is just replace it. Looking at the Fender Tone app here gives us visual representations, again, of all these stomp boxes. And the visual representations are important because since Fender can't use the name of uh, the brand that they're trying to emulate, they give you pictures of the things that look just about like them. And the thing that I'm looking for is a little bit of boost. So we're going to press our stomp box button here. And look at that, the Ranger Boost. I like that one. I don't know what it's supposed to emulate but um, it, it does what I want it to. So, there we go. Our Ranger Boost is now chosen. So let's go down here and decide how much boost we want. Probably we don't need quite that much. The gain, we probably don't want that much either. And what let's do is just The low and high trim, both at about 9, 9.30, whatever that position is. I think that's all. Okay, yeah, that's all. All right, so we've got our preamp effect. We've got our actual amplifier ready to go. Let's see what we have on the back end of the whole signal chain. 65 spring reverb. Well, I think we want to replace that. So, I'm going to go down here to the EQ section. I'm going to change, I'm going to choose, I should say, the seven band graphic equalizer. But, because I want that scooped metal tone, I'm going to go down here and mess with the equalizer a bit. So I push this bottom button, and I'm going to turn the bass up somewhat, quite a bit actually. Go over here, turn up the next to bass. I'm pretty sure that's the technical phrase. So, we switched out our amplifier, we switched out our preamp effect, and we switched out our post effect. So let's see what the country twang sounds like now. Not bad, not bad. And you know, contrary to my expectations, I think we are going to need some more gain. So let's go ahead and turn that up, see how it sounds. Mm. 
You know what? I like that a lot better than Country Twang sounded originally. So, great. Let's say that we want to keep this. Now, nope. we're going to go over here to our save button and push save. Aha! So we can either save it as Country Twang and if anybody turns on the amplifier just for the heck of it and goes to play some Country Twang, that's what they'll get. That's probably not what we want though. So, we could uh, go to Save As, and what that would do would take us to one of the empty slots up in the, uh, the 190s, starting with 190. But what let's do is just rename this thing. Now, I'll cut out a part of the video here so that you don't have to see me scrolling through all of these uh, letters and numbers and such, but I will just show you the first one here. As always, we use our knob to go between the, the elements, and we, we push it down there in order to get access to changing of the letters, and there's capital letters, and there's lowercase letters, and there's numbers, and we've even got a few characters. There's an apostrophe, and a hyphen, and a space right there. So, I'm going to pause this now, and that's what we're going to call it, a scoop of metal. I'm going to push our save button again here, and there we go. Preset number three, Country Twang, is now preset number three, Scoop O Metal. But let's say you decide, hey, I think I need Country Twang back. Maybe your friend drops by and says, you know what, I just picked up this CD, the best of Roy Clark's guitar picking, and I think we should try to do some of this. Well, first of all, if that happens, good luck, because Roy Clark is a monster of a player, an absolute beast. He is amazing. As far as country players go, boy, Roy Clark and Chet Atkins was tremendous. Glenn Campbell, real good. And Jerry Reed, oh my God. If you listen to some of Jerry Reed's stuff, especially from the late 60s and early 70s, that man knows his way around the fretboard. Well, knew his way around the fretboard, and he knew how to get around it fast. Okay, so I'm done now praising my favorite country players. But let's say we don't like scoop of metal. We want to go back to country twang. We go to our menu button here. Menu. Amp settings. Let's try restore all, shall we? So we'll delete set lists. Sure, I don't have any, so I'm going to do it anyway. Restoring, it says. Restart the amp. Okay, tension is mounting now, as we see if this actually worked. We're through Fender, we're through Mustang. Well, we're not through Mustang yet, but we will be, I hope, soon. Reminds me of a funny story. Three Mustangs were... Oh, okay. We'll finish that story some other time. All right. It's taking us back to our first preset, the, the hygienic twin reverb. Let's go up to number three here. There she be, country twang, restored just like new. Ah, fabulous. Okay. Now, here is another thing that is kind of... Uh, I've actually never done this before, so we'll see how it turns out. We're going to use uh, preset number five, Uber Metal. Whoa, I got the master volume way up there. Ah, the A chord. Nothing like it for testing out new sounds. Let's go to our menu here. Let's go down to EQ and amp settings. Global EQ. Someone mentioned this in a comment, and I'm so sorry, I can't remember your name right now. Guitar Focus 2. Now, what's this going to do? I have no idea, but let's try it. Pushing our back button. Now, you notice this up here, sometimes it's a back button, sometimes it's a bypass button. You know, who knows what it is. Let's go back to our Uber Metal. There we go. Oh, holy smokes. Did you hear the difference in that sound? Son of a gun, that was sharp. That 
that made a hell of a difference. I'm not sure if it's for the better, at least for the sound that I like, but wow, that certainly changed the tone a lot. Just for the hell of it, let's go see what guitar Focus One does. Well, that made a difference from our original sound as well, but none nearly as dramatic as Guitar Focus 2. Huh. You know, all in all, I think I like where we were at before. Here's our flat EQ. Guitar Focus 1. Guitar Focus 2. Man, Guitar Focus 2 is a cutting tone, isn't it? What else do we have here? Bright boost? Ah, I don't want to do that. Low cut, low cut, bass boost. I don't want to do any of these things right now. In fact, I think I just want to go back to the flat EQ, which is where we were. It's how we dialed in our, our scoop metal Okay, by the time you see this video, it probably will be 20 minutes or less. It's taken me about an hour and a half, actually, to record all the stuff, and it'll take another couple hours to edit it. But all that time will have been worth it if you got something out of it, or if you know someone who could get something out of it. If they're like, hey, I got one of these amps, how the hell do I use the thing? By all means, share the video, send it to somebody that you think can use it. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, I don't care. Well, I do care, thumbs up are better, but even thumbs down helps my algorithms. And by all means, leave a comment. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>